there's a, a phrase in our community. We're not adoptees, we're adaptees. So we're always adapting. This is a vulnerability for us to rescuing, meeting other people's needs first. Why? We're wanting the approval. We're wanting the appreciation that, oh, if somebody really appreciates it and sees what I'm doing, that's going to mean I'm good enough. And I have struggled with this. And I have learned how to meet my needs and also balance meeting the needs of others. But only we can fulfill and meet our needs on our own. We do a push-pull with people. We only let people in so near or far. And we also, as adaptees, because we're wanting and seeking that validation so desperately, if someone has a need, we'll go and take care of their need first, and then our needs are left behind. But what happens is, if we consistently meet other people's needs, we're going to be exhausted. <laughs> we are going to be resentful of that person, of that person, because I'm meeting all of your needs and when are you gonna meet mine? And it's not their role to meet our needs. It's our job to be self-responsible and meet our own needs. It doesn't work in our favor to be the adaptee and always adapting to others. We need to do, it is called self-care and it's okay, it's not being selfish which is hard for us because again, the ego goes, oh, this is selfish, that this means you're not taking care of everybody else or you're going to lose this attachment if you don't meet every need because our fear gets triggered, which is what drives this behavior. Okay. If we don't meet the fear and we don't work through the fear, it will incubate. Incubate is it gets bigger bigger and bigger. And it can feel very scary to ask for your need to be met. But I'm going to help you do it a little bit at a time, dose by dose by dose. That's all you, I don't say you have to do, it's what you get to do for your mental health and well-being. And you are worthy of meeting your needs. So the five A's they all start with the letter A. We have five basic psychological and emotional needs. So the first A is I need, let's start with appreciation. We all need appreciation. And I appreciate each one of you here today. And I want you to do this, as silly as it sounds, I want you to appreciate yourself. Patting yourself on the back for showing up here today and congratulate yourself a little bit at a time. When you do one little tool, go, yeah, I just did that. Congratulations, do you know why? Because when you congratulate yourself, you actually stimulate endorphins from your brain into your body. You feel good about yourself. We need to do appreciation more because our self-esteem has been compromised due to our early separation trauma. This is something we get to do for ourselves. Appreciate yourself for being here. Appreciate yourself for being open to learn some new tools. Because what we all want here is to build our self-esteem, lessen our anxieties, lessen our grief or grieving. And these are parts of us and again, it's when we know we're healing, it's these parts of us shrink a little bit at a time in intensity, in frequency, and duration. And we feel a sense of <sighs> relief, okay? So the first A is appreciation. The second A is affection. We all need affection. Not everyone can tolerate affection. It may feel too overwhelming to feel too close with someone because it triggers our separation trauma. It triggers a sense of 
can I trust this relationship? It can trigger so many things. It's understanding how much affection you can tolerate. Is it holding hands? There, I work with a lot of children and families in adoption, and there's something called the 30 second hug. When you are hugged for 30 seconds, it lights up the whole brain. It stimulates the whole brain. It stimulates, again, those endorphins. And the most important is oxytocin. That is the bonding hormone. It's so important in any relationship is building the trust of bonding and that's falling in love. And that's when you form. Once you go through bonding, that's when you can form attachment so affection if you can ask and get the need met to be hugged for 30 seconds it's going to do all so much wonderful things for you to be held for 30 seconds and you may actually begin to cry and that's okay because you're giving yourself the love and the bonding you need not only with the person you're with but for yourself you're also hugging yourself so give yourself a 30 second hug. So that's asking, can I have a hug because I learned this tool for 30 seconds? I just need to be held for 30 seconds. The next A is autonomy. We all need alone time. And that could be sitting and doing nothing and just being with yourself and breathing. And I'm going to teach you the river of thoughts. So how to separate from your mind and get into your body. And that's really, really important for our healing. It's necessary for us to go through our thought processes, think through things, and slow down the mind and the body. When you are starting to find yourself stressing out or your, your grief is coming up or you're feeling triggered because someone looked at you a certain way or you're feeling dismissed and acknowledged, go give yourself alone time. And the fourth A is acknowledgement. We all need acknowledgement and that's that you exist. And for adoptees, there's another part of us that feels like we don't exist. Why? because we have had this early separation trauma and adoptees express, they feel like aliens sometimes. Like, where did I come from? We don't have that basis of genetic existence. Our cultural and racial history has been uprooted. So acknowledgement that you do exist. You do matter. We all have something to offer in this world. We all have different experiences. We all have different filters for seeing the world. So we all are unique. We all get to share our experiences in our unique way, in our expressive ways, through our strengths. So acknowledge you do exist. And how you get that met is you say, can I just hear that you repeat what I just said so I know that you hear me I need attention. This is the fifth A. And attention is listening. I just need to be heard. I don't need unsolicited advice. I don't need to be fixed. And I don't want questions. I just want you to hear me. And that will also meet the need of feeling acknowledged. And I need someone to look at me when I'm sharing. So it's asking. I need 10 minutes. It's setting the boundary, setting the precedent so that you get your need met. I need 10 minutes. I just want you to sit and give me attention. What's important in this last piece is support groups. Please go online and join. That is our Constellation support group. I run that group. It's for all members of the foster care and adoption constellation. First and birth mothers, adult adoptees, foster youth alumni, adoptive parents, foster parents, and those thinking about fostering and adopting. Because if we look at this tree of adoption from one angle, that's the only angle we're going to get. We as a community need to look at all the angles and have compassion for all the experiences because we're all connected by this experience. And we need to learn how to give attention 
acknowledgement, appreciation, autonomy, and affection, and love, so that we all feel heard, seen, and received. So those are the five A's.